Hello, welcome to the Flick Fusion channel. This time, we will summarize the storyline of the film titled Neza, which was released in 2019. There are two pills, one good and one evil. Neza was supposed to be born with the help of the good pill, but fate had other plans. He was born with the assistance of the evil pill, imbued with the power of fire, which the society regarded as a demon's incarnation. So, for those who are curious, let's dive into the film's storyline. The film begins by showing a mixed pearl created from the auras of heaven and earth over thousands of years. The pearl absorbs the essence of the sun and the moon, trapped by Xan Ki magic due to continuously drawing in negative energy. Shortly after, the pearl transforms into a monster that Tai and Gongbao must defeat. However, they cannot defeat it as the pearl is stronger than them. Eventually, their master intervenes to defeat the monster by separating the pearl into the good pill and the evil pill using a cauldron called Balin, which he ignites. The master curses the evil pill to be destroyed by a lightning strike within three years and entrusts Tai with delivering the good pill to his son, Lai Jing, who is destined to be the reincarnation of Linju. Gong Bao, witnessing this, feels resentful for not being chosen by their master. Afterward, Tai, somewhat intoxicated, goes to meet Lai Jing. On the other hand, Lai Jing and his pregnant wife visited the temple to pray. They are surprised to see Tai suddenly appear. Later that evening, when Lai Jing's wife goes into labor, Gong Bao harbors evil intentions. He uses two talisman papers to hypnotize someone. While Tai is guarding Balin, an assistant of Lai Jing arrives with wine. Being a drinker, Tai quickly consumes the drink and becomes unconscious. Meanwhile, a nurse informs Lai Jing to hurry and approach Tai to speed up the opening of Baolin. However, he was surprised to find Tai already unconscious due to drunkenness. As a result, Lai Jing had to wake Tai up by beating him. Tai woke up and immediately tried to open Baolin. However, Tai faced a problem because he forgot the password to open Baolin, but he finally remembered that he could open it with his fingerprint. As Tai tries to retrieve the good pill, he is deceived by Lai Jing's hypnotized assistant under Gong Bao's influence. While trying to awaken his hypnotized assistant, someone manages to take both pills and inserts the evil pill into Lai Jing's child's body. As a result, the child born to Lai Jing's wife is a demon's reincarnation with fiery powers. Not standing idly by, Tai immediately uses a neck bracelet to restrain the demon child. When Tai attempts to kill the child, he is saved by Lai Jing's wife. Lai Jing and his wife decide to raise the child, named Neza, despite facing rejection from the community. On the other hand, Gong Bao successfully obtains the good pill and goes to the oceanic underworld to meet a dragon. He gives the good pill to a dragon egg. As it turns out, Gong Bao does this to prove to his master that he is capable of raising a child. Meanwhile, Tai and Lai Jing go to the Sin Kong Gate to meet their master. However, they only meet the gatekeeper, who informs them that their master has gone to another realm. Lai Jing informs the gatekeeper of their intention to free their child from the heavenly curse, but he is disappointed to learn that the curse cannot be broken. A year passes, and Nessa's mother approaches him while he is alone. She tries to play with Nessa, but his powers are too strong, making it challenging to interact even when they are wearing protective gear. Shortly after, a warrior seeks help to defeat a demon attacking the village. Nessa, irritated by the interruption to his playtime, becomes angry. Nessa's mother asks the guards to tighten security around Nessa, but they blame each other and argue instead. Neza comes up with a plan to trick the guard so he can leave the house. He successfully goes to the city center and starts counting from 1 to 10. When the townsfolk hear Neza's voice, they hide in fear. When he reaches the count of 10, Neza manages to find them and playfully scares the villagers. On the other hand, there is a group of teenagers who want to defeat Neza. They get the idea from one of their friends to trap Neza with pig feathers and mud. It turns out that the person who suggested this idea was Neza in disguise. They get frightened and find themselves trapped in their own plan. Neza finds this amusing, but the teenagers are not pleased and taunt Neza as a demon. 
Nessa, upon hearing this, becomes furious. Fortunately, Tei arrives to rescue them. After this incident, Nessa is further confined by his parents. His mother, who loves him dearly, plans to move to the mountains so that Nessa can play and feel free. However, Taiyi has another idea to take Nessa as his disciple to make him a better child. The next day, Nessa sees something in his backyard. As he approaches and touches it, he gets sucked into the artifact. It turns out to be Taiyi. Taiyi then takes out a magical brush that can turn anything it paints into reality and invites Nessa for a walk to enjoy the scenery. Here, Nessa initially refuses to learn magic. Tei then resorts to using shape-shifting techniques to pique Nessa's interest in learning magic. When Tei falls asleep, Nessa's mother comes looking for her son. She is shocked to see Nessa floating in the water. As Tei tries to help, it turns out that he has been deceived by Nessa, who has used magic to transform a poisonous toad into his likeness. Tei instructs Nessa to fetch an antidote so that he can teach Nessa fire magic. Nessa complies but plays a mischievous prank by setting fire to Tei's pants with a fire spear. Nessa's parents come to Tei's rescue. His mother encourages him to stay determined and prove to the villagers that he can do good. Nessa harbors a deep resentment towards the villagers due to their past rejection. His father is forced to lie, saying that Nessa was born from the good pill destined to battle demons. For the first time, Nessa becomes enthusiastic and decides to learn magic to protect the villagers from impending demon attacks. A year passes, and Nessa continues to train. However, his uncontrolled emotions and powers inadvertently cause the death of innocent people. His father advises him to practice without using the fire spear. In anger, Nessa returns his weapon and takes the magical brush to leave the place. On the coast, when a water demon is about to devour a dog, Nessa arrives and beats the demon. The demon flees and hides in a barrel filled with water. Determined to prove himself to the villagers, Nessa recklessly smashes the barrels in search of the camouflaged demon. The demon escapes again and kidnaps a young child. Fortunately, someone arrives and defeats the demon. The person is Aubing, born from a dragon with the goodness pill from Gong Bao. He is the child of a dragon egg. However, Nessa cannot accept that his demon was defeated so easily and a battle ensues between Nessa and Alving. Unbeknownst to them, the demon seizes the opportunity to unleash its technique. If they are hit by the demon's bubbles, their body parts will turn into stone. Alving, witnessing the demon devour the kidnapped child, immediately attacks and saves the child. However, the child has already been exposed to the demon's saliva, causing both Alving and Nessa to turn into stone. Nessa sees this and takes action. After losing, the demon gives them its antidote. Albing expresses gratitude to Nessa for saving his life. After this incident, they become friends and play together. Later, Albing gives Nessa a seashell as a means to call him if they want to play together again. Nessa is overjoyed because he finally has a friend. Subsequently, the villagers come to hunt Nessa, believing that he is the one who harmed the child. Nessa, infuriated by being labeled a demon, goes on a rampage and eliminates them all. Tei arrives to restrain the rampaging Nessa to save the villagers. Meanwhile, Aubing goes to his master and recounts what happened. Upon hearing this, Sheng Gong is shocked. Aubing's father tells the story that the Dragon Clan was once highly respected for eradicating sea demons, but now they are considered sea monsters who cannot be freed. Therefore, Aubing's father has high hopes for Aubing to liberate the imprisoned sea dragons. On the other hand, Nessa is still angry. His mother comes to console him, saying that the villagers will come to celebrate his birthday with him. Nessa is happy and goes to the coast to invite Aubing to his birthday party. Aubing immediately visits Nessa. On the day of Nessa's birthday, Aubing receives the thickest dragon scale from the dragons. As the party is about to begin, Gongbao suddenly arrives and reveals Nessa's origin as born from the evil pill and destined to die on his birthday. Nessa appears disappointed, but Tei and the others try to console him. Nessa receives three gifts from Tei, a fire spear, a sash, and a shape-shifting mount that matches his characteristics. His father gives him an amulet and advises Nessa to keep fighting for his future. However, knowing his true origin, 
Nessa becomes enraged and starts causing havoc until the seal around his neck breaks. His father and Tei try to calm him down. Albing, feeling sorry for his friend, seeks permission from his master to restore Nessa's seal so that his parents and Tei won't get hurt. Gong Bao warns Albing that both of them are demons and won't gain the trust of humans. Without answering, Albing departs. He arrives just in time, before Nessa can kill his father, and manages to save him. Instantly, Nessa and Albing engage in a battle. After trapping Nessa, Albing asks Tei to seal him. As Nessa's powers subside, he goes away. However, at that moment, Lijing exposes Albing's true identity as a dragon demon, causing people to feel fear and disgust. Tei, upon learning that the life pills were stolen by the dragons, intends to report to the Heavenly King for the dragon's punishment. Albing, upon hearing this, becomes enraged and goes on a rampage. As the fate of the dragon's lives is in Albing's hands, he freezes the entire village with ice, preventing anyone from reporting to the Heavenly King. On the other hand, Nessa's mount reveals the truth to Nessa that his father was willing to sacrifice himself to save him from the curse. Nessa is shocked and feels guilty. While his parents are fighting Albing, Nessa arrives just in time to save them and immediately battles Albing. The confrontation becomes inevitable. Nessa uses his shape-shifting ability to mimic Gong Bao and trick Albing. As Gong Bao confronts Tei, he uses his master's artifact to trap Gong Bao inside it. As Gong Bao chases after Tei, he encounters Nessa disguised as himself. Albing, seeing this, immediately attacks what he thinks is Nessa. After his master is defeated, Nessa stabs Albing from behind, but Albing's clothing is too tough. Due to Nessa's mistake, Tai places Neza inside the artifact, which he believes is Gong Bao. Shortly after, Albing also enters the artifact and pulls Tai inside. Finally, the four of them are trapped inside the artifact. Inside the artifact, they engage in a battle to obtain the brush that will allow them to escape. Eventually, they become trapped in Albing's own technique. When the brush is at Neza's feet, they almost die because Neza struggles to paint with his feet but they eventually manage to escape from the place. When Albing attempts to kill Nessa's parents, Nessa quickly intervenes but gets hit hard by Albing. Albing transforms into a dragon and attempts to flatten the town with the ice dome he created. Nessa doesn't stand idle, transferring the seal from his neck to his hand and unleashing his power to protect the town. Albing not willing to lose, immediately uses his own power. However, Albing's strength is no match for Nesha's. And Nesha successfully defeats him. However, because Albing is a valuable friend to Nesha, he doesn't want to kill him. As Nesha's curse of destiny approaches, he approaches his parents and burns the amulet his father gave him, Nessa expresses regret for never playing with his father. On what should have been a happy birthday, it ends tragically due to the curse he received. As Nessa faces his curse, Albing arrives and tries to protect him with his dragon magic. However, the defense provided by the dragon scales doesn't last long, and the power is insufficient to withstand Nessa's curse. Finally, they both decide to die together. As they hold hands, their powers unite and absorb the lightning curse. The immense power they've absorbed is then channeled back with all their might to break Nesha's curse. Tei doesn't stand idly by and saves them, sacrificing his own power to seal their souls inside the Baolin. Nesha's parents are deeply saddened, but Tei explains that their souls will continue to live within the Baolin. After this event, all the villagers kneel as a sign of respect to Nessa. And the film ends. That concludes the storyline of the Nessa movie. I hope you enjoyed the presented storyline. I apologize for any inaccuracies in the delivery. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. This is Flick Fusion signing off. See you in the next video.